Hi guys, just going to show you um, how we're going to do the maths today. So we've got dividing fractions by integers. So like in the multiplication, integers just mean whole numbers. So we're looking at taking a fraction and dividing it. So we're going to need our times table knowledge to help us here. So we've got three fifths. It's the first thing I've got to do is split this bar roughly into five bits, like so. And then I'm going to need, we're dividing it by three eventually, but I need to put in three parts. So I'm just going to color one, two, three. So three fifths. So if this is a cake, for example, and you've got three of those five pieces, if you're going to be dividing what you've got by three, that means you're going to end up with three times as little as you previously had. So what we actually have here is you wouldn't have one, two, three bits of cake. You'd only have one bit left. So that means we've got one fifth left. Now, if we look at the relationship about of the number sentence here, our denominator has stayed the same. But what do we notice about how our numerator has, been, has changed? So this three has become a one. So the numerator is getting divided by the uh, divisor, the large integer here, this whole number. So three divided by three is one. So for today's learning, you're only going to see fractions where this happens, okay, where um, the numerator is divisible by this number here. Now, we've got our next one here. We've got four sevenths. So I'm going to have to roughly chop this into seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven at the end. Now, if we can remember, I'm going to need four of those colored in. So one, two, three, and four. So let's have a let's have a little think about what happened last time. So we see that our denominator stayed the same. So our denominator is always going to remain like this when the uh, when these are dividing um, these are divisible. Sorry. So the seventh stays the same. We're all this this cake here is not going to change in terms of the size of the pieces. Okay. That will be on Monday, but for now they stay the same. So we've got four bits of cake and we need to cut them in half. So if we ignore the rest of the diagram and we just look at what we've got um, colored in for now, if we're gonna cut that in half, we would cut it straight down here. Okay, so if you see, if you had four bits and now I half what you've got, you wouldn't have four bits, you would have two pieces, this bit here, two of the seven, two sevenths. So when we look at the pure calculation side of this, um, we remember that the denominator stays the same and we divide these here. Denominator stays the same. So it's gonna be seven still, six divided by three is two. And then lastly, denominator stays the same. Eight divided by two is four. Just gonna show you how to do the first set of questions just to get you going, because they may look a little bit different from just the bars that I've shown you. So to use these diagrams uh, to help us complete the calculations. So we've got to get these four pieces and we've got to split them into four groups. One, two, three, and four. Now, if I've got four pieces of cake and you make what I've got four times smaller, I'm only going to end up with one of those five. And again, down here, three pieces of cake divided into three. So I'm going to need to take my cake that I've got and split it into three bits. How many is in each part? Just one of those five. 
over here at question C, we've got six sevenths um, and it's divided by two. So I'm going to look at what I've got. I've got six there. So in order to divide that in half, I'm going to have to split it down the middle here, like so. And now I've got this section of the diagram. So I've got one, two, three of the whole thing, which is seven. And then lastly, same concept over here, still got six of the seven, um, but we're gonna have to split it into three. So if I take my six and split it into three equal groups, I'm gonna to have to go and split it every second one here. So when we look at each individual part, i.e. here, I've got two parts. So that's two of the seven. Hopefully that helps you. Good luck.